Hey, I'm Ryan Chris for Cena, and I'm here today with the Quickset Kivo Smart Lock. Now, we've got a lot of new smart locks coming out this year, and this is the first one to hit the market, and it's a really exciting product. The Kivo's got Bluetooth built right into it, so it can detect the presence of your phone. That means if your phone's in your pocket and you tap on the lock, it'll automatically unlock. That's really cool. There's also a key fob you can use if you don't have a compatible smartphone. We've seen a lot of smart locks that offer smartphone controls and that have apps and different ways of controlling it with home automation systems. This is the first one you can just touch and it opens up and lets you inside. I'll be totally honest, I was a little bit skeptical of this product because I didn't know how it would work in terms of being outside or inside the door. Let's say you leave your phone on a table just inside the door and it's within range of the lock. Theoretically, if someone walked up and tapped on the lock, it would detect the phone and think that that person was you and let them in. That's a big safety hazard, kind of a fatal flaw. But Quickset has solved this problem. They have a really good system that calibrates the phone, calibrates the key fob if you're using that, and it can tell if you're inside or outside. It, it works. We tested it out again and again. The lock never failed us. If the phone was ever inside or even close to inside, if there was ever any doubt, the lock wouldn't let you in. If you look at this lock, maybe the first thing you'll notice about it is that it's not that noticeable. It's a pretty boring looking lock. It doesn't say Kivo on it. It doesn't have any cool design. It looks like a basic quick set deadbolt. And I love that, frankly. I think that's a really wise move. This is on the outside of your house. This is bolted to your door. If it looked really fancy and expensive, I think that might invite someone to come up in the middle of the night and rip it off. It only looks like a smart device when you come up close and tap on it. These blue lights will spin around telling you that it's thinking about whether or not to let you in, and then it'll turn green if it's unlocked or yellow if it's locked. It's really simple and it just works. It's easy and effortless and elegant. You can rekey it using a little tool they include, so if you wanted to adapt it to an existing key, you can do that without having to call a locksmith. As for the Kivo app, it works fine, it looks really nice, it's a little bit easy to get lost in it and it's not really clear exactly where everything's located. I'm sure you'll get used to it as you use it, but you don't need to use it. You don't need to open the app to unlock the door, you just really need the app to set your lock up and to calibrate. The app has a few other limitations as well. You can't remotely lock and unlock the door like some other smart locks will let you do. And you also can't send temporary e-keys out. And you know these are keys that would only work for a certain time of day or that would expire on a certain date automatically. One other thing to be aware of with the Kivo is that it comes with the phone authorization for you and one e-key to give to someone else. But after that, each e-key is gonna cost $1.99, which is about the same price as getting a key made, sure, but there's no parts or labor here, there's no manufacturing, it's just something that they can charge you for because they can. Another thing that kind of bugged me is that when you use the lock, when you tap on it, your phone will buzz and it will make the same noise as when you get a new email message. I like the buzz, I like knowing that the phone is responding to the lock, but that sound, I wish I could have another option, maybe a unique sound, or maybe just turn the sound off altogether. Right now you can't do that. Now to me, the big problem with the Kivo, the one ding I can really give it, is that it's not compatible with a whole lot of devices. It's only compatible with iPhones and iPads and other iOS devices that have Bluetooth 4.0 hardware built into them. You can still use it if you're one of those users, you just need to use the included key fob. Keep in mind though that Bluetooth 4.0 might expand to Android devices in the very near future, and if that happens, Quickset's going to jump on that and make sure that the lock is compatible with your phone. All in all, the Kivo left me very impressed comes out on Halloween, and I think at a price of $219, it should make a very good holiday gift item this season. Again, if you're an Android user, probably a bit depressed watching this, but hang in there. I think Bluetooth 4.0 is coming your way soon. For CNET, I'm Ryan Christ. <laughs>